This is Kendall Kirk, the Precision Ag Engineer at Clemson University, and I'm going to walk you through a, a little tutorial, uh, more of a demonstration of how our new Center Pivot Mapper software works and, and how it might help you on your farming operation. This is the program once you've loaded it in. Uh, the first step is to go to where you want to build a map. So I'm going to go to one of our research stations in Blackville, South Carolina. Uh, when you're there, you can browse for the pivot, that, the specific pivot that you would like to make a map of. I'm going to do one here. It's a windshield wiper, 180 degree rotation pivot. Uh, so you simply double click on the pivot center. Uh, you could manually enter coordinates up there as well. It will advance to the next tab to mark the end position. I'll double click on the end position and you see it's drawn the pivot into place there uh, and now it's asking for forward and reverse stops uh, which you may or may not have. If it's a 360 degree pivot you just click skip stops. If it's not then you go to where it would stop on the forward the, the clockwise rotation or uh, reverse would be the, the counterclockwise rotation and you can usually see that on the map sometimes it's parked there as it is in this case and you mark those stops if you marked them wrong uh, in other words uh, inverted forward versus reverse you simply hit this button here swap pivot stops and it'll flip them to the other side uh, you then set your end gun radius if you don't have an end gun you set your last sprinkler radius uh, I've got it set on 100 feet here for this particular system when you click set value it'll show you the the wetted area there and all the while the pivot info is being calculated up here the length end gun radius angle between stops area under structure area under end gun total wetted area um, at this point, if we wanted to move any components, we could. Uh, you can move everything at once by clicking Move All. Or if we just wanted to move, let's say, the end position, we can click Move Now, uh, click anywhere on the map, and then drag in and out, and it will reset where that end position is located. Uh, if we wanted to move the forward or reverse stops, we would do those in the same way. Click Forward Stop, Move Now and we can bring it in and out there as well. Um, at that point, once you've got everything locked in the way you want it, you go to this export tab or you can just click next to get there. And we can name this pivot. I'm going to name it windshield wiper. You don't have to put a name in, but it, it helps for when you generate the report. Uh, by default, reports are in standard units, but you've got an option for metric outputs here. Uh, when you click metric outputs, your pivot info also updates with your metric outputs. Uh, if you click create PDF, it'll automatically name it according to what you've named that file. Uh, and go to the, the last folder that you use for the software is where it tries to store it. It's generating the PDF right now. This is the PDF report that you could save or email to someone. It's got the, the user input, so you could go back and build this pivot exactly like it was, just copy and paste these values into the text boxes, uh, and then all the calculated outputs. So this is good for record keeping or communication with other people um, in paper format, more or less, or print format. Uh, if you wanted map files, map-based files to export, You've got shapefile that you can export here, or you can export a KML, uh, which is what's used in Google Earth. I'm going to use a KML just for demonstration right now uh, and show you how you can integrate these maps with Google Earth. So I've exported the file at this point as, as a map file, as a polygon file. I'll go to Google Earth here, and if I go to File, Open, or I could just double-click it in the folder I stored it in, uh, I'll click windshield wiper, that's the file I just exported. And then there's what I just drew in the center pivot mapper software. Uh, is to give you a little idea of how you can uh, sort of organize all this with, with many irrigation systems you might have, I've drawn a few other ones here. So you could have a whole farm operation more or less where you've got the pivots drawn, managed, uh, named, uh, a printable map. Uh, but also an ability to, to know the areas of these. You know, let's say we're fertigating and we need to know exactly 
what is the wetted area of each system. That's the type of thing you could use this for. Or just experimenting. Uh, maybe you want to see what it would look like to put a pivot in this field. And you can draw them a couple of different ways. That's, that's the kind of thing that you can do with this software. Hopefully this demo was useful to you. Hopefully the software is useful to you. And if there's anything we can do to make it more useful to, it, to you, please let us know through the contact us form on our website. Thank you.